The first three days of August 1995, en route to claiming the IndyCar Championship, Jacques Villeneuve found himself at famous Silverstone. He had been invited to the England circuit by Team Rothman's Williams Renault, put under close scrutiny by Frank Williams himself, the owner of the prestigious Williams Formula One team, and Jacques impressed. A week later in the Canadian and his manager, motorsport entrepreneur Craig Pollock, were to make the official announcement of the signing of a two-year contract for Jacques to race with the Williams Renault team in 1996. The French-Canadian superstar then burst onto the Formula One scene and although he narrowly missed out on winning his first race due to a mechanical problem, he drove outstandingly in his maiden year. Jacques finished with four wins, 11 podiums, two poles and six fastest laps. He in fact came close to winning the championship but teammate Damon Hill went on to take the crown. In 1997, Jacques went all the way to the world championship, racing to seven wins and ten poles. A high-tension climax at the European Grand Prix at Duret saw Michael Schumacher attempt to take him out under braking for a corner, but he managed to continue to third while Schumacher retired with suspension problems and was penalised for unsporting behaviour. A lean year followed for Jacques when Renault withdrew from F1, the Canadian finishing just fifth in the standings with 21 points, but no wins. He took a major punt in 1998 when he announced that he would be teaming with Pollock to drive for his new team British American Racing in 1999. Unsurprisingly, the first year of the fledgling team was very difficult, with poor mechanical reliability and a lack of pace from the Supertech engines, and Jacques amassed little but massive frustration and disappointment. Things improved in 2000 when Honda came on board as a works partner. Jacques clearly benefiting from a better engine to score 17 points and finish 7th in the standings. The momentum carried through from 2000 should have seen even better achievements in 2001, but it turned out to be an irritating year. The team and engine supplier Honda failed to make technical progress, and Jacques could only manage 12 points including two podiums. Jacques kept his faith in Bar for 2002 despite the sacking of Pollock late in 2001, but he and teammate Oliver Panis struggled after making a nightmarish start to the Formula One season. At times it was a case of back to basics for the two, meaning a trip to engine maker Honda's shop floor. Off the track and Jacques is a regular supporter of the annual 24-hour Grand Prix race in Switzerland, an event which raises more than $200,000 for cystic fibrosis and the youth of Switzerland. There were over 900 competitors making up 165 teams to make their mark on proceedings and help swell the coffers for the charitable cause. Jacques and the Bar team unveiled the Bar Honda 005 for the 2003 season at a ceremony in Barcelona, Spain. Team bosses hoping the new car will allow for podium places. And Jacques, who has been testing the car throughout the winter, declared that he believed that the improvements would allow the team to fulfil their goals. Jacques would be partnered by England's Jensen Button in 2003. But before Jacques and Jensen can fight Ferrari, Williams and McLaren for podium places, their bar Hondas will have to prove that they are a cut above their fellow challengers, Renault, Sauber, Jordan and Jaguar.